All right, so this video is going to be about a little contraption I came up with um, so I could do selfies with my Canon GX9 or any other camera that has a tripod mount on the base of the camera, uh, including the one I'm filming with, which is a GX85 by Panasonic, and which is a great camera. Uh, but this one here fits in my pocket, the GX9 from Canon. Fits in my pocket, fits in my sure pocket. It's so tiny. It, uh, I literally got a little bitty pouch. I keep it on my belt, and it works great. <clears throat> but I couldn't see me when I was vlogging, so a lot of times part of me would be in frame, part of me wouldn't. <clears throat> so I thought to myself how I could improve that. So what I did was... I bought a blind spot mirror, a set of two for $3 or $2.99, and it articulates, so it moves. So I can use this with different cameras, depending on the, the size of the camera, the height of the camera. I need to adjust this. I can literally adjust this up or down. I keep it all the way down for the GX9. And what that does, it allows me to see me in the back of my um, LCD screen. So I'll turn this on and now my LCD screen you should be able to see the back of my LCD screen very well. Okay now let's pretend my face was the camera that I'm filming with. Right now I would be able to see if I was in frame or not and if I couldn't so when it's very sunny and bright outside um, it's kind of hard to see even in this mirror where my face is so what I do is I look at the top half of me right here you can see the camera is in frame and on the back of the LCD screen you can see the camera or my face if it were is in frame so right there is in frame so when it's bright and sunny I can just look in the mirror it frames me up nicely and again I can move this I can articulate this to depending on the camera that I have all right so what I've done I'm gonna go ahead and put the replay in so I can see the back of the camera so what I did was um, I've got a bracket that I made this was a flat piece of metal you can get this at a hardware store if you need to, I use two brackets. I bolted them together so I can adjust the height of the mirror. But either way, this cost, would probably cost you under two or three dollars. And it's very simple to install. So I bent this in my vise. You could use corner of a two by four, whatever you needed to. This bracket has to be a certain length. And it, it should be able to actually, if I was going to use this on my Panasonic I would make me another one a little longer that sticks out a little farther approximately uh, an inch so that way it would work with any camera and it would also be another inch taller so and I would go ahead and put a groove here or here so I can adjust this up and down if I need to but either way like I said this articulates and it should work just fine but how I attached it was, I'm going to go ahead and grab my camera, like so. Now once I loosen this, this bracket will want to fall downwards. So once I loosen this, which you've seen it works, fine. And I got my bracket, and I'm taking my tripod off, and here's how it works in the bracket. And it goes on the bottom of my camera. So there you go. That's all I did, was I took and drilled a hole and use the chainsaw file to make this round until it fit right here in my tripod bolt. So this came with a slot already in it. That's too narrow so it won't fit. But when I get down to here, where I took the chainsaw file and made it wider, I can fit that in there. Put my camera on it and I can see me when I'm trying to do vlog type videos. So. Great little idea. One other thing I want to show you real quick is this is for video, but on the back of my Canon, I put this 
It's a, a self-adhesive strip. It's a piece of metal frame that magnetizes in here, inside of here. This has magnets. You can see the magnets in here. And it clips on very nicely like so. Won't fall off. Now, if I'm in the dark or if I'm in a theater and I don't want people to be distracted by my rear view uh, while I'm recording video, I can put this on and I can hold it up to my eye and I can see perfect. It's actually, I think it's a two times um, magnification and I can see the back of my screen perfectly well. I know if, I know if I'm actually in focus or not. So if I wanted to show that to you. Two little add-ons I did to the GX9 or any camera that's got this same size rear screen that I could attach this base metal to and I could use this video magnifier for video so anyways thanks for watching I appreciate it go out and make you one